The Huey. With a new paint job. I'll bet you this thing flies today. These are good planes. Brand new Plexi. I'd love to take this thing out. And this one was built in 1964. Sent to Germany to serve... Oh, I better get a better camera going on. This one was built in 1964 and sent to Germany to serve with the U.S. Army's 4th Armored Division. It returned to the United States in 1969 and served with the 1st and 2nd Armored Divisions at Fort Hood, Texas. This Huey was assigned to the famous 9th Ca Cavalry Regiment of the 1st Cavalry Division upon their return from Vietnam in 1971. After a stint with the Ohio National Guard, the helicopter was donated to an aviation technical program at Columbus State Community College in Ohio. The, this museum purchased the helicopter in 2014. The Huey today appears in the Vietnam era markings of the A Troop of the 9th Regiment of the 1st Cavalry Division. The U.S. 1st Cavalry has participated in combat operations from the late 1860s to the Persian Gulf War. During, during Vietnam, the 1st and 9th pioneered all air assault tactics using helicopters in combat from 1965 to 1971. I love these things. They're really great for heli skiing. <laughs> Carry 13 people. This is an older model. It doesn't have the cutout here. The um, later models, they were just a little longer and there was room for two people to sit in a cutout right there. But how about some tanks? Because, whoa, this thing's a monster. And the coolest thing ever is a tank that is split in half so you can walk between it and you can see everything that's on the outside of it. And then you can walk between it. They cut it in half so you can see the whole thing. Actually, they didn't cut it in half. It's two thirds on this side. You can kind of see two thirds here and but you can see the whole thing. What a great idea. I mean, they've destroyed a piece of heritage, but boy, oh boy, everybody gets to see it now.